Here we're asked to divide the given line into units of length 1 sixth, then plot and label the following fractions, provide simplified forms for each fraction if possible. So the first thing we need to do is to divide our line into units of length 1 sixth. Rather than watch me do that in real time, I'm going to recommend that you pause the video, make that designation on your graph, and then start the video again and double check to see what I've done and make sure you're on target. So all I did was draw five tick marks separating each of these segments into sixths. So one sixth, two six, three six, four six, five six, six six, which is not the correct because this is on the negative side of zero, but that's the separation between the tick marks. All right, so let's identify where each of these are, these numbers, on the number line. So negative 3, 6 is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So here's negative 3 over 6. I'm just going to put all these on here and then simplify them if possible. So here's negative 1 over 6. Here's 0 over 6. I'm going to put it up here because 0 over 6 equals 0. We'll go ahead and simplify that one. 2 over 6, put that one down here. There's 2 6. 5 6, so 3, 4, 5 6. The number 1 is 6 over 6, put that up here. And then 9 6, so I have 7, 8, 9 6 is right here. So let's see if we can simplify any more of these. Negative 3 over 6 is equivalent to negative 1 half. Both 3 and 6 are divisible by 3. Negative 1 6 is reduced. 2 over 6 is equivalent to 1 over 3. Both 2 and 6 are divisible by 2. 5 6 is reduced. 6 6 we already addressed is equaling 1. 9 over 6, both 9 and 6 are divisible by 3, so if I reduce, I get 3 over 2. All of these you can check on your calculator and be sure you understand how the simplified forms were created and how the numbers were plotted on the number line.